Good day everyone, this is Charles Tianes, Marketing Manager of Longreach Philippines. And today, I will be teaching you how to use the new Stocky system. But first, you need a desktop, a laptop, and a smartphone. If you already have these kinds of tools, you also need an internet connection. Once you have that internet connection, you have to log in to our new system. The website for our login is www.longreach.ph slash stockist underscore office Okay, as you can see, meron ditong sign in So all you have to do is put your username and then your password and then click log in After you click log in, yan makikita na ninyo yung tinatawag natin na dashboard Here in the dashboard, you can see first is the stockist replacement Zero ang stockist replacement natin Stockist cash, this is our virtual money Total registries, kung ilan na yung total registries natin for the month, and the month sales. Yung new pending orders, these are orders that are not yet completed and confirmed. Stocks, ito yung inventory ninyo. Nandiyan nakalagay kung ilan na lang yung natitirang stocks sa inyong account. Next, of course, is the current confirmed order. Sa so current confirmed order naman, ito yung mga natapos na ninyo at na-confirm. And on the other side, ito na yung mga completed orders natin. Makikita ninyo kung ano-ano na yung mga natapos na ninyong transactions. So again, this is the dashboard. Now, we proceed to initial inventory. This is the time we will be encoding the numbers of products we have for our store. So all you have to do, click nyo yung inventory and then click initial inventory. Please encode your initial inventory. You will not be able to change once you have submitted. So, sa description natin, ilalagay natin initial inventory. Then, you put the number of quantity kung ilan yung mga products na meron ka. And then, click save. So, there you have it. That's the initial inventory system. And after that, yun naman pag aaral natin ay yung stock is cash. So, stock is cash is the virtual money we use in our system. Without stock is cash balance, we cannot confirm encoded orders. So, tuturuan ko kayo ngayon kung paano mag-top up ng Stock is Cash. Please be reminded, verification of Stock is Cash top up. 11.30 to 3 p.m., same day ang verification. But after 3 p.m., verification will be done the next day. So, let's go! Pag-aralan na natin to. So, ngayon ang gagawin natin ay mag-top up ng Stock is Cash. So, as you can see, zero yung ating Stock is Cash. To top up, Click Stock is Cash and then click Top Up Stock is Cash. So, ilagay mo lang dito how much, magkano yung dineposit mo and then put kung ano yung description. So, for example, Initial Top Up. Payment Method. Deposit. So, dineposit ko siya sa BDO. Branch code 001, deposit date. So for example, ngayon ko siya dineposit. January 15, deposit time 2 o'clock. And then, image proof. So proof natin na tayo ay nag-deposit. So yung inyong deposit slip, yun ang i-attach ninyo. And then click submit. So after nyo may click yung submit, Makikita nyo ngayon yan sa top up lists. Okay? And please be reminded that we have a cut off for the processing ng ating stock is cash. So kapag kayo ay nag-send sa amin ng inyong top up between 11.30 to 3 p.m., yan po ay maitatop up sa inyong account within the day. Pero kapag ang inyong top up transaction is after 3 p.m., Next day na po yung inyong magiging processing. So again, kailangan bago mag 3 o'clock, maibigay nyo na sa amin yan so that same day yung processing. After 3 p.m., next day na po yung ating processing. So after mo yan, makikita mo yan. So we will click pending top up. So ang pending top up natin, nandyan ngayon. Makikita natin na tayo ay nag-request ng 2,000 na top up. Okay? So, kapag yan ay na-confirm na dun sa office, mawawala na yan. 
makikita mo na ngayon yan doon sa inyong stock is cash. At kapag meron ka ng stock is cash, ready ka na para mag-encode ng mga members at mga upgrade orders. Okay, so now that we already set up our initial inventory, you also have your own stock is cash, you are now ready for encoding. But first, let me explain to you the four orders in our sales order. First is the initial order. Initial order is the menu where you encode new member distributor. Second is the repeat order. Repeat order, ito yung mga ROB, repeat order bonus natin, wherein you need to maintain 30 PV every month para makuha mo yung bonus mo. Third, upgrade order. Upgrade order is wherein you encode different promos or upgrading of one member to the next level. Lastly, marketing tool order. Marketing tool order is wherein you encode brochures, mga marketing tools, or pang demo. But please remember, zero yung PV dito. So now, alam mo na kung ano yung apat na orders sa ating sales order. Let's encode! So click sales order. You can see the different orders that you can do. Initial, repeat, upgrade, marketing tools. So since we will be encoding a new member, click initial order. So dyan, makikita nyo na ang iba't ibang mga dapat yung gawin. So sponsor ID. The sponsor ID is the PH code nung nag-invite or yung sponsor ng ating magiging new member. So in this case, itinipe natin yan. And then, makikita na mismo yan ng computer kung anong name nung magiging sponsor. Please make sure tama yung nilagay nyo sponsor ID together with the placement ID. Sa placement ID, ilalagay nyo lang din kung ano yung PH code niya and automatically the system will look for the name. So dito sa personal information, we need to put yung first name, Cardo, last name, Dalisay. Familiar siguro yung pangalan sa inyo, no? ang probinsyano. Next, birth date, November 11, 1981. ID type, Doon sa ID number, kailangan ilagay nyo kung ano yung ID number niya. Kasi hindi yan mag-go through kapag wala yung ID number. And then, kung ano yung gender. Is it a male or a female? Marriage status, single or married? Sa province, so nandiyan na lahat ng mga provinces, pipiliin nyo lang kung anong province yung inyong member na ine-encode. Together with the city. Kapag yung city ng particular province ay hindi lumabas, let us know. Please report it in dito sa opisina. Okay? So, postal code and then the email. Email is very important kasi nagsisend ang ating office ng iba't ibang mga memos or any announcement with regards sa promos or other promotional activities. Phone number. Importanteng-importante rin yan para kapag kailangan nating kontakin yung ating member, makikita natin sa ating database. At mas maganda kung ilalagay din niya yung mobile phone niya para mas madali. Kasi magkakaroon na tayo ng text blast para alam na nakagad ng mga member. Beneficiary. Sa so beneficiary, ito yung mga pangalan na dapat yung ilagay in case may hindi magandang mangyari sa ating member, sila yung magbe-benefit dun sa account or dun sa mga bonuses na dapat tatanggapin ng isang member. So ilagay nyo lang relationship, sibling, parent, ganyan lang. Sa shipping information naman, so lalagay nyo lang kung anong province at anong city. So, sa address, lagay nyo kung anong complete address kung saan ipapadala ng ating member. After that, ikiklik na natin kung ano yung order ng ating ine-encode na member. So, what we will do is click Add More Item. Sa Add More Item, makikita na doon iba't ibang mga produkto natin. So, para hindi ka na mahirapan, itype mo lang sa may search button. So, for example, this one, liner. Ang order niya, one pack. So, ilagay lang natin sa quantity, one. And then, submit. Makikita nyo na ngayon dyan. Unit price, kung ilan yung PV, at kung magkano yung total ng lahat ng babayaran niya. After nyo makita yan at na-check nyo na na tama na lahat ng kanyang order, makita nyo dyan, may voucher. Mamaya malalaman nyo na rin kung ano yung tungkol dyan. Payment method. So, I have said, stock is cash ang ginagamit natin parate para ma-confirm kung ano man yung ating mga ine-encode. So, click nyo yung I have read and agree to the long-reach ethical code. 
click stock is cash and then click submit once na isubmit nyo na yan na i-click nyo na lahat ng inyong in code ay mapupunta sa pending sales order list sa pending sales order list mamaya i-discuss natin kung anong nangyari dyan doon mapupunta lahat ng inyong in code okay Next is the retail order bonus. So click sales order, click repeat order. So as we all know, every month you need to purchase or maintain a minimum of 30 PB per month. Wherein, meron ka makuwang 4.5% for every 30 PV or equivalent sa 1.35 per person na makuha mong ROB or yung retail order bonus. So upisa na natin. First, we need to put the distributor's code. So, for example, PH0584-7365. Match members data. So, Arthur Ziga. And then, click Add More Item. So, kung ano yung kanyang gustong orderin na produkto. For example, ang gusto niyang orderin ay slimming tea. Okay? So, lagay lang natin 1 and then submit. After that, so makikita niyo dyan, total PV, tapos depending on the cycle amount. Kung ilan cycle yung kailangan niya at kung kailan yung kanyang repeat ng start time. So, this time, ito, 2018-01, cycle 1. Discount voucher. Later, pag-uusapan din natin yan. Of course, as I have said, sa payment method, all we have to use is the stock is cash. So, after you click stock is cash, click submit. So, after we click submit, pupunta ulit yan lahat sa pending sales order. So, as I have said, Lahat ng in-encode natin, initial kanina, na i-encode natin, napunta sa pending list, same din dito sa ating repeat order. Okay, so now we proceed to upgrade order. These are orders na usually mga pa-promo natin. Or if a member wanted to upgrade his or her membership level. So to do that, Click Sales Order, click Upgrade Order. So, kagaya kanina, all we have to do is input yung kanyang PH code. And then match member data. So, as you can see, Mr. Arthur Ziga again. Tapos, from there, makikita mo rin kung anong distributor level niya, which is Platinum. Then, click Add More Item kung ano yung kanyang gustong orderin. So, for example, ang gusto niyang order is Bone M. So, all we have to do is lagay mo lang dyan kung ilan yung quantity. Kapag tapos na lahat ng mga kanyang order, so, click mo Submit. So, from there, makita mo na yung total price, 3,850. Total PV is 50. So, grand total niya pa rin is 3,850. Click Stock is Cash. And then click Submit. Okay? So, ganun pa rin. After we click Submit, all of our encoded na mga ginagawa, mapupunta siya lahat sa Sales Orders List. So, now we proceed to Marketing Tools Order. So, to do that, click Sales Order. Click Marketing Tools Order. So dito, kung kapag gusto ng isang distributor na umorder ng kanyang mga marketing tools, please do remember na all marketing tools has no PV. So ibig sabihin, zero yung PV niya ha. Baka kayo po ay uh, medyo malito. So, lagay ulit natin yung kanyang distributor's code, yung gustong umorder. Match member data. Okay? And then, after that, click add more item. So, for example, gusto niyang bumili ng ating product catalog. 
Orders ako niya rin ng lima. And then click submit. So 5 yung order niya, 80 pesos yung unit price. So the total price is 400. So ayan, nakita nyo, 0 yung kanyang PV. After that, click stock is cash and then click submit. Once submitted, again, pupunta ulit siya sa pending sales order list. Dito, ang huling pupuntahan niya para i-check natin ulit kung tama na ba yung ating mga na-encode. Okay? So ngayon, alam niyo na kung paano mag-encode ng initial order, repeat order, upgrade order, marketing tools order. So sinabi ko kanina na lahat ng ating mga na-encode ay mapupunta lahat sa pending list. So, what we are going to do now is click yung pending list. So, dyan, makikita nyo na lahat. Pending sales order list. Lahat ng nating in code ay makita na natin dyan. Initial order, repeat order, upgrade order. So, here, makikita nyo na kung nasa ng invoice, delivery order, yung check mark kapag gusto nyo nang i-confirm, at yung X is kapag mali ang inyong na code or kanyangin nyo na siyang i-delete. So, for example, Cardo Dalisay. So, ayan, nandiyan yung kanyang invoice. So, as you can see, ayan yung in-order niya. One pack panty liner, 270. Okay? So, next, in delivery note. So, ayan yung delivery natin. DO kung tawagin natin. Kinecheck din natin kung tama yung address na kanyang pagpapadeliver. Okay? Pero for example, ayan. Itong one card of Dalisay, mali yung na-encode natin. So, all you have to do, click yung X, tapos, sa tanongin ka niya, are you sure you want to delete this record? Click OK. Pag nag-click na kayo ng OK, mawawala na yan sa pending sales order list nyo. Okay? Malinaw yan, ha? Now, itong initial order ni Cardo Dalisay, we wanted na ma-confirm na ngayon. So, uh, what we are going to do, click mo yung check mark, tapos, confirm. Click mo yung OK. So, lalabas na yan. Lalabas na siya ngayon sa confirm order list. So, hindi pa tapos yan, ha? Confirm order list, ibig sabihin, magre-reflect na ngayon yan sa system natin. So, para matapos na yan, click mo ulit dyan, confirm pick up by customer. Ilalagay mo lang dyan kung sino yung magpipick up. So, may pick up form tayong tinatawag. So, lagay mo dyan, pick up name kung sino yung kukuha. Okay? So, sa pick up name, ilalagay pa rin natin si uh, Cardo Dalisay. Okay? After may ilagay natin yung pickup name, click mo na ulit. Ayan na, nakita mo na dyan yung sales order niya. Tapos magkano yung unit price? Click mo na, submit. After we click submit, mapupunta na ngayon siya sa completed sales order list. Ibig sabihin nun, tapos na yung ating pag-encode. So, makita ulit natin dyan yung invoice. Ayan yung invoice natin kanina. Nandiyan na rin yung ating delivery note. Okay? So, lilinawin ko lang, confirmed orders are orders that already reflect sa HQ or dito sa ating system. Yung completed order, ibig sabihin nun na ibigay mo na yung produkto at tapos na yung transaction mo with this particular member or distributor. Okay. So, now marunong na kayo mag-encode, of course, mababawasan ang ating inventory. Now, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ang stock is replenishment. We have two different kinds of replenishment. First is the incoming. This is where the mobile stockist requests stock is replenishment sa link na kanilang area center. On the other hand, outgoing replenishment is request ng area center papunta sa main office. 
Please do remember, meron po tayong mga cut-off pagdating sa mga replenishment. If you request from Monday to Tuesday, ang ating repacking ay Wednesday. If you request Wednesday to Thursday, repacking natin Friday. And then Thursday to Friday, ang repacking natin is Monday na. You have 7 to 10 lead time para dumating ang inyong mga replenishments. Please make sure kapag dumating sa inyo yung inyong mga stocks, click nyo yung completed orders so that may process ulit namin yung inyong mga replenishment on the next order. So now, let's go. So as I've said, the difference between outgoing and incoming, outgoing stock is replenishment. Ito yung mga request ng mga AC at SC na stock is replenishment papunta sa office dito sa main office natin. While incoming stock is replenishment, these are requests by mobile stockist na nakalink sa bawat AC or SC. So again, if you are a mobile stockist, incoming stockist replenishment po yung inyong ikiklik. Kapag kayo naman po ay AC at tsaka SC, outgoing replenishment ang inyong ikiklik. That is the reason why Yung mga reklamo dati ng mga MS natin na hindi sila aabot ng 1,200 PV, minimum yon So, i-request nyo lang po yan sa inyong mga AC at SC. So, this AC and SC, sila yung kailangan may minimum na 1,200 para ma-replenish yung kanilang mga stocks. So, let's go. So, if you are an AC or an SC, click outgoing stock is replenishment. So, click stock is replenishment. From here, ilalagay nyo lang who is the stock is requester code. So, saan nyo i-request yung inyong replenishment. And then, mag-add lang kayo kung ano yung mga orders ninyo. And as you can see, you need a minimum of 1,200 PV to place a replacement order. Okay? So, kagaya pa rin dati nyan, Kapag na-encode nyo na yan at na-submit nyo yan, pupunta yan dito sa pending replenishment. So, here in the pending stock is replenishment, makikita na ngayon dito sa office kung ano yung mga nire-request nyo. Same with you na nakikita mo ngayon kung ano yung mga pending na hindi pa na i-deliver sa inyo. Okay? Once kami po ay nagpadala na ng inyong mga replenishment, makikita nyo na yan here sa confirm stock is replenishment. Okay? So, kapag nakita nyo na sa confirm stock is replacement, so, ibig sabihin, on the way na yung inyong product na ni-request sa amin. Kapag dumating na ngayon yung inyong mga product, make sure dito naman po yan sa completed replenishment, kapag nakuha na ninyo, Click nyo ito pong check mark, Okay? Tapos, nakikita nyo naman, receive item form. So, kung na-receive nyo na yung inyong replenishment, kung ano yun, ikiklik nyo lang yan and then submit para malaman na rin po namin sa office kung ano yung mga natanggap ninyo. This is the common mistake that most of AC and MS is doing hindi nyo na po ginagawa itong ating completed replenishment. Okay. So, if for example, you forgot na iano yung completed order, all stockies and center must confirm previous SR o yung stockies replenishment under SR completed order to process yung new SR. Okay. So, no SR, no releasing din naman tayo. Now, pagdating naman dito sa mga MS natin, okay, incoming naman po ang inyong ikiklik para may request naman po ninyo yung inyong mga stocks. Okay? So, click incoming stock is replenishment. Okay? Tapos, doon na, magre-request na kayo ng stock is replenishment. If you are an AC, Dito po sa stock is replenishment, makikita nyo ngayon yung mga pending replenishment ng different MS 
ng mga nagre-request sa inyo ng products. Okay? Incoming, ito po kung ikayo ay AC, ito na po yung mga dapat nyong bigyan. Okay? Kapag chinek nyo na yan at sinabi nyo na confirm na yan na bibigyan nyo na siya, mapupunta ulit yan sa confirm stockist replacement. Okay? Now, yung mga MS natin, kapag kayo naman po ay nareceive nyo na nyo ang inyong replenishment galing sa inyong mga SC, dapat ikiklik nyo rin po doon yung completed, tapos click nyo yung check mark. Okay? So, makikita nyo na dyan, receive na yan. Makikita na ng AC na nareceive nyo na rin. So, again, outgoing stock is replenishment, AC and SC requesting to main office for stock is replenishment. And then, kapag incoming, ito yung mga MS requesting for replenishment papunta sa AC at saka sa SC. Ito ang pinakamagandang kung gustong i-discuss sa inyo. Commission. Dito makikita kung magkano na yung kinikita nyo araw-araw. Before, hindi yan nakikita ng isang stockist. But now, in the system, you can trace kung magkano yung kinikita ninyo sa araw-araw na pag encode ninyo sa ating system. Okay, i-check natin ngayon. To check for your commission, click commission and then click stockist commission. Here, you can see the stockist commission list. Nakasulat dito each commission you receive for every transaction that you encode. So as you can see here, kumita siya ng 23, 45, 23. So depending on how much is the encoded transaction. Unlike before, in our old system, hindi nyo nakikita how much is your commission. Dito, real time, after the order is being confirmed and completed, you can see now all the amount na makukuha ninyo with regards dun sa inyong stockist commission. So, voucher is a computer generated. Binibigay ito sa mga top 3 natin pagdating sa direct submission, placement, or sponsoring. So, pag top 3 ka, binibigyan ka ng mga voucher ng ating company. This voucher can be used for encoding and is good as cash. Okay, let's check kung mayroon na tayong voucher. To check if you have a voucher, click voucher, and then makikita nyo na dyan yung mga stockist vouchers natin. Normally, the value of the voucher is 50 pesos. This is good as cash. We can also use these vouchers in encoding. So instead of using stock is cash, kapag marami kang vouchers, yun ang gagamitin mo. The voucher code will be used and then kung sana siyang mababawas sa inyong stock is voucher. Lastly is the messages. Dito inilalagay yung mga memo ng ating announcement ng mga promos. Para hindi nyo makakalimutan at pwede nyo balik-balikan, dito nyo lang ito babasahin. To check for messages, click message and then click message list. Here, you can see different messages coming from the headquarters. So for example, you will wanted to read kung ito po yung tungkol sa stock is cash verification. All we have to do is click itong parang magnifying glass and then from here, mababasa na ninyo kung ano yung message about stock is cash verification. Please make sure to double check ah. Araw-araw, iti-check nyo ang mga messages para dun sa mga promo, announcement, or anything about sa company natin. After you have read, click back. And then, pwede nyo na ulit basahin yung iba pang mga messages na nandito. So, stock is replenishment policy. So, click nyo lang yung magnifying glass. And then, nandiyan na. Mababasa na ninyo kung ano yung policy na natin. There you have it mga kaibigan, our new Stockist System Tutorial. I hope marami kayong natutunan. This has been Charles Tianes, Marketing Manager of Long Reach Philippines. Happy encoding!